Hello everybody, this is Colloquial Captain back again with some more Zork Grand Inquisitor. Um, it says underground secret entrance over there. I'm trying to read what that said. Um, but here we are back again. I am uh, very excited to be playing some more of this. We can look up oh, here. Oh, come on now. Look, we're safe down here. Even if you could make that climb, we'd be arrested in a matter of seconds. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure you wouldn't. Mm, yeah. But, um, at this juncture in the game, we start to have, uh, pretty much, it's very non-linear, well, somewhat non-linear. It's a little bit of a, just sort of a puzzle game, and all you need to do is kind of go around and find your way, and I kind of know the way, which is good, but, um, and I kind of know how not to die, but I will show some deaths, because I think some of the death, because uh, when you die, you get a little computer screen with text that tells you how you died, and some of them are kind of funny, so I'm probably going to die at some point, I'm going to save, and I'm going to, I'm going to die, just to, you know, provide a little bit of entertainment. But first and foremost, we shall go down the scary stairs. The door's locked, huh? I'm not much of a hand with locks, but if you open the spell book... And that's a clue! Spell book! We, and we have... Red Rob. Red Rob. Hey! You bitch. It, uh, timed out. Red Rob. Bingo! Open yep. Sesame! A very nice piece of spellcasting, indeed. I love it. And then this one's... There, we have different spells we can look at. But here's the stairs! I thought this was going to kill me the first time I did it. Oh, dear! The crossroads of the Thank great you, underground highway. My old stomping grounds. Up oh, for the days when I could stomp. Yes, indeed. And this is a grand area. I love you, Dragon. You're such a good friend, and I thought you were going to eat me the first time. But here we have... All the must-haves for the on-the-go adventurer. An elvish well, sword. Well, i say this applies. Go on. Yeah, it's an elvish sword and a uh, rustic-looking map. The two things that have been in adventure games since uh, the beginning. So we take it, and we're gonna close that motherfucker, and break the glass. Counterintuitive, I know. But still. So we got a, a hammer... A sword that glows when danger is near. Hmm, wonder where they could have taken that one from. And a map. Now from here, you can go over here. Ah, the elusive umbrella tree. Aptly named for its umbrella-shaped blossoms. Yep. And, uh... And click the motherfuckers, you, they won't do anything. But here, I believe we can go to our... Where's my inventory? I thought I could click the inventory without having to go into it. There we go. Right click. <clears throat> what we can do is we can take this. We can look at our look at it in our little thingy here. It's a map. Yes. And here we have the map. And we are here, and this will show us all the different uh, areas we can get to in the underground. Here's our book of spells, and here's our high magic. So this one, Voxum, separates energies of different magics. We'll learn what that means later. And here we go. Turn purple things invisible. Ingram. Uh... Some of these are very important, and some of these we need to know for later. But so here we can look, see these are purple. Yeah, look at it. Hey, there's a spell in one of the blossoms. And look at that. But we can't open it, which is unfortunate. So we can't get that spell yet. That's uh, we're gonna have to require another spell to get there. Right now, I want to go this, this way. This place looks sort of familiar. The rank undergrowth prevents eastward movement. The rank undergrowth prevents eastward movement. I love his. Um, just all of what he says. And oh, by the way, I do have the actors. Um, I did look them up on IMDb since I am a cheaty bastard. Cheeky bastard as well. But, um, here they are. The guy who does Dalbuzz is Michael McKean. Now, he is, uh, known for quite a few things, none of which I have really looked into, but he has been in quite a, a number of things. And, uh, and, if, and also, speaking of the actors, um, the old... The, the the old one that we saw for the Grand Inquisitor, if you remember him, if you didn't recognize him before, then I'm surprised, because he was in The Mummy and a bunch of other things. He And he is none other than Eric Avery, and he is just the, the coolest guy ever to have as a Grand Inquisitor. I mean, I must say, he did a fairly good job saying uh, he was a boss of us. But the rank undergrowth will prevent us no longer. Aha! Onward then, into the foliage! Aha! That's my house, and this is my garden. I'm home. I'm home. I'm home. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, he didn't have very good memories from here. 
So this uh, this is his home, and he doesn't really give a crap because he's in a lantern. I know I kept calling it a lamp last time. I will stop calling it a lamp. It's not a lamp. It's a lantern. I suppose that's sort of an insult to him, anyways. Oh look! My gardening tools: scroll, shovel, shovel, scroll. Very little gardening tools, wouldn't you say? I'm Throck. Vegetation to grow. Obviously, he's a terrible gardener, or else he'd be able to grow without spells. Oh, and if you, uh, if you really wanted to know, the, uh, enchantress that we met who was on her collect call. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, Snapdragon. But she is, uh, Jordana Capra. Uh, if you do know her, then other things. Oh, and Dirk Benedict was, uh, Jack as well. And look at this. Hey, baby. This is the Dungeon Master's home security system. You ain't getting in here, so don't even try. I have a great home security system, but he's got some bad habits. Harry! It's me! Come on, Harry, let me in. Yeah, nope. <laughs> he's not going to let us in. Oh, yeah? Well, you got any ID? Me? Do I look like I got any ID? You look like a lamb. You bastard, take that back. I don't care if you're the dungeon master himself. You're still not getting in here. Now what kind of self-respecting alarm system would let you do that? I suppose. So what we're going to do is we got to kind of disable him. The first is a bad habit is smoking. Nothing like a good stogie. Oh yeah, and so you see that that broke open one half of the door, and it tossed one of his arms away. So we need to um, get him the other door apart, and that way is to make him drink, because he drinks like a old Russian tailor. And we can use some of the beer, but mead light. What kind of a drink is that? It'd take at least twice what you've got there to do anything. Not that the wizards of this universe use or condone the use of alcohol or any mind-altering substance in any way, shape, or form. Mm-hmm. But we can't, uh, we have to have a spell to uh, increase the volume of said thing. And uh, right here is the teleportation. Ah, teleportation station. Fastest way to get around in the underground. I love it. And we can use this map to teleport around, but we don't actually have any other teleporting stations, so that really is not very useful for us right at the moment. Look, here we have this thing, which we'll use later. Right now, we did all we can do here. Moving away through the undergrowth. When we can actually go this way. Nope. Oh, so we can't go through that way, so let's unlock the sucker. Huzzah! And now here is our first number of puzzles. Ah, my alma mater. The most prestigious spellcasting institution in all of Zork. And I was first in my class, too. Mm-hmm. I highly doubt that. Look it! Bottomless pit! It should change, I think. Oh, it just... it did. It'll change. Please don't throck the grass. Where's the grass? I think we can throck the grass. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna quickly save here because some funny shit happens if you do this. So I'm gonna save, LP, we're gonna enter. Yes, so I'll write that game, and game saved. Quick and simple. That, remember back when the game saves took like three seconds? So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna throck the grass. <laughs> you you discover why throcking the grass is expressively forbidden. The grass bursts forth from the ground with an unquenchable bloodlust. We just got killed by by grass. <laughs> the tentacle-like blades wrap themselves around your extremities, lifting you into the air and snapping you like a pinata. <laughs> you have died. You have scored 117 out of possible 1,000. It gives you the rank of luckless adventurer. I don't even know if these points are even worth anything. I'm pretty sure they're not. They're just there to bullshit you, but we just got killed by grass. First death. <laughs> Let's restore this shit. <laughs> and proceed to immediately die in another fashion. I believe we can go... Oh, nope. Not correct. We can go this way. And I there should be a... 
Yeah, we can actually go down this way. Like, I'm not sure why they would do that. I think there was a bottomless hole somewhere around here. Yeah, please don't throck the grass. It's like, who, who would... Yeah, danger bottomless pits. I think we can just fall down one of these pits. Uh, what's down there? <laughs> Jump in bottomless pit. You meet Mary. Um, you meet Mary and Mingle, a similarly indisposed adventurer. Have three children, and eventually die of old age, <laughs> from a bottomless pit. Is that this? This game is sassy. That is exactly what it is. It is sassy. So we have died twice in the most fashionable manner possible. Now let's actually complete this. Now this is. If you a... want to get in, you're going to have to pass the entrance exam. The three pillars. They test your aptitude for visualization, pattern recognition, and clicking. Yes, indeed. Clicking. I love this fourth wall breaking shit that they do. And basically all we need to do is make it so it looks like a full picture. So the volcano up there and the rushing lava. The first trial has been beaten! And we move on. And, uh, look at this one. This one's a little bit harder. Actually, I think that might be, I think that might be the right one right there. Because we need to match up this stuff with the shadows. Oh. Hmm. Which shadow was it again? I wonder if it was that shadow. I can't actually recall which shadow it is. Because most of these don't work properly. I can't recall which one it is, actually. I think it's, I think it's this one, isn't it? Hmm. Oh no, it's not this one because that one has the wrong shadow. Um, give me a moment here. I'm very sorry. Nope. Obviously, I've not played this game in a while, so it's kind of screwing with me a little bit. My, is that annoying or what? That's not that shadow's not correct at all. Oh, is that one? I think it's that one, isn't it? There's that one, and there's that. Nope, wrong one. There we go. Yeah, it was that one. Oh, look, the ground is solidified. And, uh, the last one. We need to make this window. Oop. That's the bottom of the window. There we go. And oddly enough, a real window appears. Magic. And we now we are inside. Huzzah! Yay. GUE Tech, Eastland. Boy, this takes me back. The glory days of enchanting. I can't remember a damn thing. I'm not surprised in the least, Dalbaz. And if we go this way, we can actually open these doors. And then travel outside. And look! There's no more college! It's As you'll notice, the university doesn't exist in our space-time. It's in a parallel dimension called the Ethereal Plains of Atri, which we sorcerers share with snack cakes, former child stars, and people who own ferrets. See, that's just silly. Who the fuck owns a ferret? Let's dematerialize, shall we? I would love to, but that's just to have that now. Look over here! Hey, free dirt! Fucking love dirt. Who doesn't love dirt? Who would not love free dirt? Alrighty. There was more than free dirt down there. There was a spell! Kendall, simplify instructions. That'll be very important for later use. Move it on this way, and then travel through the window. Oh, I know we're here. Um, uh, let's look at the board. What do we got here? Uh, Gutek, Dean List. Um, Dalbaz, Girth. It looks like he had an A, actually. Top of his class, indeed, actually. It seems, this doesn't seem very good. Okay, so here's here's a clue to what we need to do. Surgeon specific to Gyu Tech is determined that eating Zork rocks while drinking any cola based beverage can be harmful to your health because of your stomach will explode. Just like that kid whose picture is on all the Zork granola boxes, that's how he died, really. <laughs> he died from exploding pop rocks. 
magic deficient disorder and apparently terrible spelling. Just a bunch of stuff you can read. You can pause them. I'm just gonna run through them. Uh, Mike's pants. Okay. Oh, well, that system is down. Okay, okay. You can pause those and read those if you really want to. It's not necessary. Hey, look! Snacks. Sweet snacks. What a welcome sight to the road-weary adventurer. Who doesn't love snacks? Hmm. I think some of these were here my freshman year. Yeah, just like my college. Scary, huh? Oh, and here, right here, is what we need later. We need a dollar. We need Zork Mids to get through there. We can go through here, I believe. And look at all these stuff. All these trophies. What's that? We can look up here and see that it's an infinite corridor. Now, if we go down this infinite corridor... This is an emergency magicatronic message from the Enchanter's Broadcasting System. I am the wizard, Belbuzz. This is probably not a test. As sh should a tyrannical anti-magic despot have in fact eliminated magic Let from the Empire? Let me in. You must He's talking. Let me the in. following three lost ah. magic in. artifacts. Ah. If you find them... This is a magic university. These doors have all been Resro. Oh, God. Oh, he stopped talking. Thank God. He will talk for infinitum. Like, literally, I spent 35 minutes. He just rambles. It's scary. I, 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 like, once just to think of, like, doing it, I just went, yeah, you know, I might as well. I think he just talks on forever. I've, I've never been more insane. But if you go this down this hallway. This is the main hallway one took to go to class. I've never been down it. Yep. Because it is infinite. That is scary. We don't want to be an infinite corridor, though, so what we want to do is we want to change the infinite corridor. And one thing you can do by accident is say corridor. Whoop. That's not right. <laughs> we can make infinite space. But instead, we want to make it a corridor and not an infinite corridor. A small way. Small way, indeed. So now we are in the proper hallway, and here we can go down all these hallways. I don't believe there's anything down here we actually need to do. You must find. And he'll tell us uh, about what we're trying to find here, along with the coconut of Quinn door, which is just ridiculous. And then this door, which can only be opened by a key card, and this key card is actually one of these lockers, which we'll have to get to later. But first, it looks like we're going to need some money, since we need to get into the vending machine. So we're going to go out. Go out. And back the way we came. No throcking the grass. And look! Teleportation Let's station. Let's dematerialize, shall we? Huzzah, dematerializing. So we're going to hmm. go here. A token, a slot. But how to put it all together without my insert token into slot spell? Seriously, bro? I, I was just about to suggest that. Yeah, sure. People were about to suggest nothing. The underground underground. It's a subway. It's a political movement. It's a subway and a political movement. <laughs> Sounds like it's still operational. Uh, hey. Hey. Okay, now you want to take the red line east to the yellow line, then switch off to the... Um... I have no idea. Well, we're gonna click this button here, and then there, and then there, and then there, and there. And then we have to click this there one. Seems to be this some one. sort of problem here. No, I got I it. I don't think this is doing anything. No, 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 no. Really, I got it, and that was it. Right? There, 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 there. Right? Wrong. We're silly. Or at least I'm silly. Kindle. Kindle. And then click. So easy, only That's trying more to do like it. it. Now, unless I'm mistaken, all you have to do is pick the place you want to go to, wait at the edge of the platform, and assume crash position. Yeah, you'll see why we assume crash, crash position a little bit later. Um, here we go. Hey, Souls wanted. It looks like Hades is looking for some free... He looks silly. Hades looks like a silly bitch. But that's where we're going to go, since we are actually at the... Excuse me, at the crossroads, we want to go to Flood Control Dam number three. Um, I don't know if we need to go there right at this moment, but that's where I go right now because I know what to do there. There's some things we can pick up there. I guess I should warn you. The thing about the underground underground is Wait, uh, um, that there were a few cutbacks and what? then a few more. And then, well, 
They just never got around to installing the brakes. Oh, my face. So we just got manhandled by a tram. And we get these cutscenes. Totemization? Good. Now, if you just be a lamb and sign this confession, it's a formality, really. You willingly agree to be eternally bound and totemized and so forth, blah, blah, blah. You violated the laws and or pointed suggestions at the Inquisition, etc., etc., etc. No problem. Of course. Oh, look, wait, there's a there's a mistake here on line 17C. Be a lamb, just sign. Line. No, no, really, look, here, where it's supposed to say stand in line for three hours and then get totemized, it says, pop the inspector one. Oh, sorry. Oh. I'll sign for you. You can't do that. Pink cup is yours. Have a nice day. Hee <laughs> hee yeah. Okie Ah, I'm remembering why I've always preferred teleporting. This is the stop for the famed Flood Control Dam Number 3. I believe it was quite the tourist attraction in times far distant. Really now? That looks like... Yep, it's Moss of Marilon. There doesn't seem to be very much of it, though. Hey, look, what do we have? Beautiful. That's plenty. Mmm, sucking sounds. Horrible, nasty sucking sounds. But oh, look! Things. And then, here's a book. And a scroll! Hi, Magic. And we have, create a bridge over a body of water. Well, isn't that interesting? I love that. Hey, we can look at these pages. Not remotely boring tale. Hmm. So this is all just silliness in uh, 12 million square feet and a shoreline of 36,000. That seems a little excessive. Hmm. So this... Though only four of the 1,400 sluice stores proposed by this high lordly excessiveness. <laughs> Actually, I'm just going to let these sit here and let you read it if you want, because I've already read it, and it's silly. And uh, you should just read it anyways, because it's just funny. There it is. Hey! One of the crowning achievements on Lord Dinwit's flathead. Hey, it's a bridge of water. It's water, right? That was fun. Useless, but fun. <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty. I made a good bridge. Alrighty, so now we can do this. Now where all these mother, mother loving things happen. But you know what? You can mash these buttons to the end of time, and you guess what? You won't get anywhere because what you need to do is you need to think outside the box. Now you're thinking outside the box. Yep. Snaps all around. Snaps all around and close it. Let's we'll see what happens. Uh oh. Oh, it blew it. Oh. Well, whatever. I guess a much-loved and irreplaceable 300-year-old national treasure is a small price to pay. Congratulations. Indeed. Suck a bridge. Number 57. 57. Go on, then. In you go, 57. Wait, that's it? In you go, 57? I mean, I mean don't you, don't you uh, read something or, you know, say something? Yes. I say, in you go, 57, and you go in. Oh. Well, it's gonna like at least have a hug. <laughs> Aw, hugs. Come on, Jack, you got this. Looks like we shut down that good old place. The next stop, Hades. I really don't know how long I've been uh, doing this recording, so we'll see. I'm gonna go to Hades. And I'm gonna stop the recording very quickly, and then depending on how long it's been, I might just cut the video here, or I will continue. Hey, look, it's red. Ow. That really clears the sinuses. Especially when you're going at 80 miles per hour around a tight, curved bend. Okie dokie, I'm gonna go and test the time. 
Well, it's been about 24 minutes, so I think it's a good stopping point for this video. Thank you very much for watching this installation, and I will see you all next video. I've been Colloquial Captain. Have a great day, people!